Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and we're back with another remake. Continuing on from last week's Travis Scott's remake, Sickle Mode, we did part one. Today we'll be doing part two, and next week we'll be doing part three. So without any further ado, let's jump right into part number two. Now the tempo does switch up here for section number two. Part one was 139 beats per minute, and part two will be 155 beats per minute. So we're going to go ahead and open up our list editor over here and make sure our tempo tab is opened up. And we're going to go ahead and enter in another tempo so we have a tempo change in our track. So we're going to go over to the spot where we want the tempo to change. In this case, it'll be bar number 23. We're going to hit this plus icon over here, and we're going to change the tempo to 155. So now when it plays from here, it'll be 139 beats per minute. And then I'll switch to 155. So now that that's out of the way, the logistics, let's go ahead and start creating that pattern. So we are going to create a new software instrument track. And let's just push this down to here. You know what, for the tutorial's sake, let's go ahead and hide all this. And uh, make sure we start from here. Uh, we're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And uh, we're gonna work with that bell sound initially, and we're gonna work off of the default preset that loads up in ES2. So the first oscillator is going to be set to this guy over here. The second oscillator will be a square wave, and the last oscillator will be muted. This triangle mixer over here, we're gonna pull up to our middle point, to about 50-50-ish. And uh, let's go ahead and just draw in that pattern to hear how it sounds so far. Once again, this is the bells. that in the wrong spot, didn't I? All right, so let's go over to bar 23. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just adjust the sound a bit further. We're gonna pull down the cutoff. We're gonna pull up our drive to about the V point. We're gonna turn up some chorus. We're gonna add in some distortion. Then let's go ahead and edit and adjust our envelope three. So that's pretty much our bell sound right over there. Next, let's go ahead and close this up. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is just bring in some effects to kind of fill that out. So we're gonna bring in a delay here, echo. Let's change this to a 16th value. I'm just gonna pull down the wetness to about 10%. Next we're gonna do right here is we're gonna bring in a reverb. Let's go to Logic Space Designer. Once again, we use the default setting. We're just gonna pull down the wetness to a little bit less. And then let's go ahead and bring in an EQ. And we're gonna filter out a lot of the highs here. So we're gonna take that and just start sweeping down. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this pattern over here. And on this one, we're gonna create a heavy reverb. We're gonna use the same sound, same pattern. We're just gonna go ahead and bring in a different reverb, re reverb here. We're gonna go to warped effects. We're gonna go to moving spaces and we're gonna use air current. We're gonna pull down the dry value all the way down and the wet value is gonna be pretty much blasted here. All right, next, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in another instance of Logic's ES2. 
and we're gonna get to creating that bass sound. All right, so let's go ahead and just close this up. We're gonna go ahead and draw in the pattern first. Once again, it's a very simple pattern. Uh, let's go down to a lower octave here. Let's go ahead and open up Logic's ES2 back up, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in a preset here. It's found under synth bass, and the preset is called Acid Sawtooth. This is what we get so far. All right, so we're gonna do right here, we're gonna jump over to envelope number three. We're gonna bring up the attack. We're gonna bring up the release as well. Let's bring up the sustain as well. Let's go ahead and bring up a little bit of this FM value. I'm gonna pull up the distortion all the way. Pull it back to a dark sound. Move our triangle mixer all the way to the point here, just so it's focused on oscillator number two. Actually, let's pitch this up one octave. All right, so that sounds good like that. Next, let's go ahead and adjust that sound further. We're gonna bring in an EQ, and uh, we're gonna cut out some of those highs. Let's cut out some of those lows. And what we're going to do next is going to bring in the, um, we're going to distort this sound a little bit. We're going to go to distortion and bring in phase distortion. And we're going to bring the mix value down to about 16%. Bring the delay down as well to let's say 13%. All right, so for the intro, that's pretty much for the sounds. Now let's go ahead and just add in some drums. We are going to let's just create a new software track here, create a new instance of that drum kit. Bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And uh, we're going to bring in that Travis Scott sickle mode drum kit make it nice and loud and uh, let's draw in that kick pattern go down to where the kick is next is going to duplicate this track over here and uh, let's draw in that hi-hat pattern let's find that hi-hat something like that. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate that up and we're gonna put in another hi-hat here. Uh, let's see where it is. Right here. It's like a high-pitched one. That is that transition section right over there. Next, let's get to the actual uh, song that you hear in part two. All right, so right here, I just took a pause on the video and just renamed my tracks so that I know which track is what when we come to add in the drums for the next section over here. So we're gonna set this up to two bars and let's start off with that bell sound. Let's go ahead and draw that pattern. It's the exact same sound, just a different pattern. So uh, let's go ahead and um, draw that pattern in. Go up to this right over here. Just raise that in volume a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much it for our bell. We don't have this reverb bell in there, but we do have the bass come into play as well. Let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. I 
Actually, let's go ahead and just shorten that up. I think this pattern goes like this. All right, that's good. Next, let's go ahead and draw in that snare sound. We're gonna create a new softer instrument track. Actually, no, we're just gonna duplicate this over here. And uh, let's just put this together for the tutorial's sake. And um, this will be the snare. And uh, let's draw in that pattern. All right, so there is the snare right there. Next, let's go ahead and draw in that kick pattern. So our kick is over here. And uh, let's go back down to that low octave. So there's the kick pattern right over there. Next, let's go ahead and draw in our hi-hat pattern. Let's go ahead and draw that in. I think this kick is in the wrong spot. It should be over here. All right, let's go ahead and draw in that hi-hat pattern right now. Change this over to a brush tool and let's draw in eighth note hits. and I can never draw straight. There we go. All right, now we gotta do some stutter edits in this pattern. So at the end of these two bars over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a quick 16th note stutter. Over here, we're gonna add in a 30-second note stutter. And we'll add in another 30-second note stutter over here. All right, next, let's go ahead and just copy over this really high hi-hat, high-pitched one. increase the sound of this bass and bell over here or sorry the volume all right next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create another or so we're gonna put in an open hat over here let's go ahead and draw that in right now So that sounds good like that. And lastly, let's go ahead and duplicate this track and put in another set of hi-hats or another hi-hat hit. Let's see here where, where that hat is. Sort of like a lower pitched hi-hat, almost like an open hat. And it goes like this. Okay, let's change this back to eighth notes. Copy that over. That's pretty much the pattern for the verses. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this over a couple times. Just copy it over once there. And then it switches up again to this bell sound over here where I think Sway Lee comes in and he goes really Salmon says and that kind of part. All right, so let's go ahead and just, um, we'll use the same sound here, but we're gonna change up the, um, the EQ a little bit. 
let's copy over this pattern to here and it goes like this all right let's go ahead and open up our eq and uh, pull back a lot of the highs something like that is good uh, maybe we'll make it a little bit more reverby or less of i mean And then we take that pattern and we sort of push it up an octave. Let's move on here. And uh, let's just push this up an octave. To do that, select both notes and go shift, option, and arrow up. That pushes it up one octave. And then it transitions into this first piece once again, right before the part three comes in. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what we just put together. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here is part two of Travis Scott's Sickle Mode. All right, so before we go ahead and play it out in full, I know I said we're just going to play it out. I did realize I forgot a couple of pieces here after listening to it. So in the intro part or this transition part, we forgot this hat over here should also be in the transition. So it should, should be like this. And then over here in the verse, uh, we did miss a bass pattern over here. The bass pattern did switch up. So let's go ahead and just add that in here. It just pretty much repeats itself like this. And then that kind of happens again over on this side over here. And then that pretty much rounds out the entire remake for part two. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And listen to the remake we just put together. Travis Scott Sickle Mode, part number two. Let's go. All right, so that right there is part two of Travis Scott's Sickle Mode. For your Logic users out there, I'm gonna go ahead and place this entire session for you guys. Place that in the description box below this video. It'll also include part one over here. We're just gonna build out our session. For you non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and export all these mini stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum sounds that we used in this part two remake as well. You can find that entire play pack in the description box below this video. If you have a question on this or just want to chat, let's go ahead and talk in the comment section below. If you are a new time and music mogul and you did like this video, remember thumbs up, share it, and of course hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.